Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Welcome to Bible Lana's Corner. It is a new day, the month of May, the year 2023. On this day that we are having this discussion, just a few days ago that I have lost my elder sister. She's the firstborn from my mother's womb and she passed away a few days ago and we indeed are being reminded that every person in this life they have a purpose for which God has sent them and when someone becomes born again, someone becomes saved. When if they die, when if they are passed on, they have gone to that place where they will be with the Lord forever. As she was a true believer, I know she has gone to rest in peace. She wasn't that old that you can say that uh, she died because of age, because she wasn't feeling well. She has been sick for some time and suddenly she died. And just to remind us that every person on God knows for how long they are going to exist. But we need to believe that before we depart from this life, we accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of our life. And even if you die now, even if you live for another hundred years to come, it will not make any difference unless someone's soul becomes saved. When they die, they either go to heaven forever or they go to hell where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. We therefore thank God that he has sent us all to this world and our prayer is that he may continue to keep us, to protect us, the Holy Spirit to help us to accomplish the purpose for which we are existing. We also pray for our mom, who is uh, still strong and living, and as we continue serving our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because only himself has provided us with the free gift of eternal life. We therefore need to thank him for all that he has done for us. And as we know that man, even if they did die, every person lives according to God's plan. And we need to give thanks to him each day that he has provided for us. Let us seek to discover the purpose for which we are still existing and to accomplish that purpose, to fulfill God's will. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And as we are going to share a message today talking about uh, the Bible Learners Ministries uh, central theme, knowing that God has an eternal plan and purpose for each and every person that comes into this life, into this world. Not only to discover one's purpose, but 
fulfilling God's will and purpose for your life. Understanding that mankind was fearfully and wonderfully made, mankind was fearfully and wonderfully designed in the image of God to obey and live by the word of God and feeding on the spiritual heavenly daily bread, which is the word of God. Through reading, understanding, and meditating on the word of God daily, all scriptures have been given by inspiration of God, by God's Holy Spirit. All scriptures are given by inspiration of God's Holy Spirit. Believing the word of truth, believing God's word of truth and obeying what the word of God says. Not being hearers of the word only, but doers of the word as well. Rightly dividing the word of truth that guarantees man's salvation by obedience in Christ Jesus. Becoming inspired and sharing the good news of salvation through evangelizing. Witnessing for Jesus Christ and getting prepared for his soon return. This is the Bible Learners and Ministries a central theme, and as we have had a discussion talking about understanding things beyond the natural, understanding things that are invisible, things that are in the supernatural, things that are spiritual, we can go through several scriptures uh, to see what the Word of God is saying. As we have gone through this uh, discussion, going through scriptures, the book of Deuteronomy chapter 8, the book of Matthew chapter 4, the book of Luke chapter 11, John chapter 6, the book of Isaiah chapter 55, the book of 2 Timothy chapter 3 and more. All these scriptures have an embedded message. Putting them together, we need to see a big picture out of what the scriptures are saying. We ask you to join us in our Bible discussion and learn how to paint pictures out of scripture. Putting several scriptures together, we can come up with a big picture that is within those scriptures. Remember, man shall not live by bread alone, but man needs to live by every word that comes out of the mouth of God. As the book of Deuteronomy Chapter 8 says, Man shall not live by bread alone. Man shall not live on bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. As mentioned, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 8, verses 2 and 3, and also in the book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 4. We believe everyone who will obey God's word, eating God's word daily, and meditating on this word of God that they are hearing daily. They will live forever. They will have eternal life. As we know, we need to understand that God has provided us his word 
God has already given us day by day our daily living bread from heaven. God has given us day by day our daily bread that is the living bread from heaven as we read in the book of Luke the book of Luke chapter 11 verses 2 3 and 4 and also the book of John chapter 6 verses 22 to 58 you see that God has given us our daily bread that is the living bread from heaven. We therefore need to read through all these verses and we can see that God is our Father who is in heaven. We are his children here on earth and God knows all that we need and he has provided for us all that he knows we are in need of. We therefore need to ask him, we need to thank him for what he has provided for us because God gives us his word for a purpose and the word cannot return to him void but it is to accomplish the purpose for which God has sent it. Therefore, as God has provided for us his word, he has given us day by day our daily living bread from heaven and we need to know that Jesus Christ is the word of God that came down from heaven Jesus Christ the word of God coming into this world he is our daily bread from heaven Jesus Christ in the Lord's model prayer said our father who is in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us on this day our daily bread. This daily bread is the spiritual daily bread that is the word of God, the Lord Jesus Christ, who came from heaven to dwell in the flesh. Therefore, we are God's children. God has sent into this world to fulfill his will. He has given us his word to live by. And that is Jesus Christ, who is the heavenly daily bread. As we have said, Jesus giving the Lord's model prayer, Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Forgive us our sins as we have forgiven those who have sinned against us. Forgive us our trespasses as we have forgiven those who have trespassed against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Therefore, God is our Father, who is in heaven. Hallowed be his name. We are his children, whom he has sent into this life in this world to fulfill his will god has given us his word to live by daily that is our daily bread and jesus christ is the word of god whom god sent from heaven to come and dwell in this world in the flesh to live with his children whom he has sent into this world so that by believing in Jesus Christ we need to go back to God the Father in heaven because 
we are in this world, the world of sin, the world of darkness, where people are in sin and they are dead. And that's why Jesus Christ came so as to save the dead, the dead souls. And whoever believes in him, Jesus Christ having died on the cross at Calvary, whoever believes in his death, his burial and resurrection, becoming saved, they become born again. They come out of the dead and move into the living. And when someone believes in Jesus Christ, his death, his burial and resurrection, they are united with Christ Jesus. And therefore, they are no longer dead, but they are living. Jesus Christ, having died on the cross at Calvary, he was buried, he was resurrected, and he now lives. He went back to heaven to prepare a place for us. And whoever that is willing to go to be with God the Father in heaven, they have to be in Christ Jesus. That's why we are told that we need to believe in Jesus Christ, the Word of God, to trust in Him, and to be not only hearers of God's Word of Truth, but to be doers of God's Word of Truth. As we are talking through several scriptures, as they say, we need to put them together. Then we see what all these scriptures want us to know. And as we read these scriptures with the guiding of the Holy Spirit, we can understand what we are reading. We can see real pictures within the scriptures. That's why Jesus said, Man needs to live not only on the bread that is in the flesh, that is for the body that is temporary, but man needs to live by every word that comes out of the mouth of God, that is the spiritual bread. Jesus Christ, the Word of God, coming in the flesh to dwell among us, this is God's plan. And as we have said, God has his plan for everything that he has created. God has a big plan for humanity, and that is why he sent his only begotten son to come to this world to save the lost souls. Jesus Christ, the word of God, coming in the flesh to dwell among us. He came to save us to come out of the dead and move into the living. Therefore God allowed his word, Jesus Christ, to come in the flesh, Jesus Christ to become flesh and dwell among us. Jesus Christ is the living bread who came down from heaven that whoever believes in him, whoever that may eat, of this bread should not die. He who eats this heavenly bread will live forever. Reading through the book of John, chapter 6, from verses 22 to 58, we therefore need to hear God's word of truth, to believe what the word of God says, and as I mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 8, the Holy Bible says, Man lives by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the Lord. And as we understand that the word of God comes from heaven, and we need to know that the word of God coming in the flesh, that is, in the natural, the word is rooted in the spiritual. The word comes from the spiritual, from the supernatural, and this is the word that has the source in heaven. Therefore, God sends forth his word. 
the word that comes out of his mouth, the word coming from heaven. Therefore, the word of God comes from the supernatural, from the spiritual. The word of God comes from the Spirit. That is why, when we read through several scriptures, as we have said, putting these scriptures together, we can understand that God sends forth his word, and the word comes out from his mouth for a purpose. It cannot return to him void, but it has to accomplish the purpose for which God has sent the word. As the book of Isaiah chapter 55 says, And the word of God has been given, and the word cannot return to him void but it shall accomplish what he please. What he pleases, it shall prosper in the thing for which God sent it. Reading through the book of Isaiah chapter 55. Therefore, as we are sharing messages, talking of the word of God, we need to hear, we need to read the word of God, we need to listen to the word of God, we need to eat this heavenly bread daily. And meditate on the word of God that he has given us. We need to meditate on the word daily. And as we have said, Jesus Christ is the living bread who came down from heaven for a purpose. And indeed, Jesus Christ came and accomplished God's, God the Father's will. As we read in the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 55, verses 9, 10, and 11, the Holy Bible says, For as the rain comes down, and the snow from heaven, and do not return there, but water the earth, and make it bring forth, and bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. The book of Isaiah chapter 55, verses 9 to 11. We see God sending his word forth from his mouth for a purpose. The word of God coming down from heaven, just as the rain comes down and the snow coming down from heaven. And they do not return there, but water the earth and make it bring forth, and bud that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall God's word be that goes forth from his mouth, it shall not return to him void, but it shall accomplish what he pleases, and it shall prosper in the thing for which he sent it. Therefore God sent his word, the Lord Jesus Christ, from heaven for a purpose, that every man should believe in him and become born again they become saved. Every man should be born again in order to have new life. Every person needs to become born again so that to have their soul saved, to have eternal life, everlasting life that is available in Jesus Christ. 
Jesus Christ is the Word of God, who came into this world for a purpose, and He came down from heaven for a purpose. And that is why we need to understand that He went back to heaven, having accomplished the purpose for which God sent Him. Therefore, this life that we need in this world is life that is available. Christ Jesus. It is life that is abundant. Life, it is life that is eternal. And whoever wants to have eternal life, they must become born again. Jesus Christ said, No one can become the child of God in God's kingdom unless they become born again. They have to be united with Jesus Christ. And as Jesus Christ went back to heaven to prepare a place for us, no one can go to heaven. No one can go to heaven unless they go through the Son of Man, the Son of God, who came into this world to save the lost, to redeem the lost souls. We will be back shortly to continue having the discussion. And as we know, the man, one of the Pharisees, who approached the Lord Jesus Christ in the middle of the night, the man known as Nicodemus, and we need to remember that the man Nicodemus was told that unless someone becomes born again, no one will enter God's eternal kingdom in heaven, the kingdom that is everlasting. We ask you to stay tuned as we are going to come back shortly to continue talking more. Stay blessed and shalom. <laughs> 